Good morning. So, I was a professional full-time street performer right here in Covent Garden in London for nearly 20 years. I arrived in the late 80s as a wet-behind-the-ears teenager and then left 20 years later as a genuine grown-up. 90% of what I know about performing I learned on these cobblestones, but I also picked up a thing or two about how to navigate the rest of life. So in this video I'm going to tell you 8 things I learned about life from being a busker. Number one, bigger isn't better. Before I started performing here, I came down to take a look at the place. And when I got here, there were two shows running at the same time. Here on the West Piazza, there was a performer called Captain Kino. And he had a huge crowd and he was doing big tricks to big cheers. But he was also doing racist jokes and jokes about sexual assault and other equally unpleasant stuff. And then here in the North Hall I saw Tony Anthony, and he had an audience a tenth of the size of Captain Kino's, but they were entranced. He was doing these weird little tricks with a kind of Stan Laurel sense of gentle, whimsical wit. And I realised that right there, laid out for me, were the two extremes of what a street performer or any artist can be. And I guess all of us fall somewhere in between the two. And I'm not going to tell you which one I gravitated towards, but I will admit to having a photo of one of them currently framed on my office wall. The thing with the biggest crowd is not always the most interesting, it's just the thing that can appeal to the broadest audience, and that's very much not the same thing. When you're making work or learning how to make a life, don't think too much about what's going to be popular. Just be true to yourself. Be honest, thoughtful and interesting. You might not gather such a large crowd, but the people that do stop are really going to appreciate and understand you. Number two, earn your audience. Never harangue people into paying attention to you. It never works. Don't beg, either. These are not good ways to try to get people to stop and watch you if you're performing on the street, and they're not good ways to develop your audience anywhere else, either. Instead, give people reasons to trust you. Let them consider that they might enjoy spending some time in your company. Don't yell at them to come closer, but give them something that they'll want to get a better view of. Number three, know what you have. Those people that walked away halfway through your show, they wouldn't have put money in the hat anyway, and they made space for someone who might. Don't get distracted by what you lost. Focus on what you have. Number four, give more than you promised. Tell your audience exactly what you're going to do, and then over-deliver. You think that was my finale? No, this is my finale. Exceed expectations whenever you can. Number five, make friends with the unexpected. Street performers work on, well, streets. So all the crazy, random, unforeseen stuff that happens on streets will at some point happen in your show. Drunks, crazy hecklers, animals, extreme weather conditions, I am just scratching the surface here. There will always be stuff in your show and in life that is out of your control, but the trick is to not try to control it, but instead embrace it. Instead of saying no and trying to keep things going the way they were, say yes and. Accept it, use it, go with it, then subvert it. Keep your forward momentum going and you'll be fine. Number six, know when you're not in charge. No matter how good you are, how extensive your skill set, how hard you work, there are always going to be things that are completely out of your control. You're only ever in charge of what you can do. So when something happens outside of that and makes things harder for you, you've got to remind yourself that it's not your fault. No feeling guilty and no dwelling. 
I've lost count of the amount of times I got up at five in the morning, came down here to get a show, waited around all day, warmed up, got ready, and then it rained. Busking teaches you humility real fast. Give yourself 10 minutes to feel grumpy and sad and kick your suitcase at how unfair things are and then pack up, go home and try again tomorrow. Number 7. You can do magic. Street performing is something special. Through hard work, lots of learning, passion and practice, a street performer learns the skills to transform a place not designed for shows into a theatre and to take a bunch of strangers passing by and turn them into an audience. That is magic. And it's open to everyone. That's pretty special. As a street performer, you learn that if you can bring people, strangers of all backgrounds, ages, orientations, identifications and ethnicities together to share something fun, well, that's when the good stuff happens. And the thing is, you don't need to be a street performer to do that. Bringing different kinds of people together, that's always where the good stuff happens. Finally, number eight. If you're tired and cold and your voice is sore from shouting at audiences or it rained on your show or you got destroyed by hecklers and you are in some way feeling less than fantastic. Go get yourself something hot and greasy in a bun. Oh, God. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, it would mean a lot if you'd subscribe to my channel. And also, if you're not doing so already, please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram and share this video with anyone that you think might enjoy it. And a big thanks to everyone who signed up to my Patreon. Your support makes videos like this possible and I really appreciate it. And if you want to find out more about my Patreon, there's a link below this video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.